If you go back and read about the children of Israel coming into the promised land, they start getting a, a, some things, some commands from God. And he warns them of this and says, let's remove some of this. And let's remove some of this. And let's remove some of this. And although they were in the promised land, the full promise wasn't fully received yet. You know why? Because it required something of them. It required obedience on their part. It required them to do some things. Now, am I telling you this morning that salvation is earned? Absolutely not. No. No. I'm telling you that salvation is evident by works. I'm telling you that change is evident by response, not just because you say it. I can tell you all day long how much I believe that this stool will support me. And I believe with all I've got in me that this stool, if I sit down on it, will hold me up. And the whole time I'm telling you this, I'm walking around it. How do I prove to you that I, be that I believe what I say I believe? Well, I'm a little nervous about that because you know what? I've never sat on that stool. I've talked a lot about, about knowing that that stool will hold me, but I, I've never really tried it myself. I've never really climbed up on that stool myself. So what I'll do instead is I'll wander around and I'll, and I'll just kind of watch that stool and I'll pay attention to other folks. <clears throat> and, and eventually so I'll see somebody else climb on that stool. And believe it or not, because Montana believes that stool will hold her, I now am a little bit more confirmed that that stool will hold me. But do y'all see a problem here? I do too. A couple hundred pounds of problem in front of me. And although the things that I see come out in somebody else's life might not just exactly weigh out, pun intended, to the things in my life, still watching somebody else do it builds my confidence in it. Until one day, I really have that encounter. And I really decide, you know what? There ain't but one way to find out. Y'all thought I was going to fall. <laughs> she, she went, <gasps> and I just climb up on the stool. And now, y'all think, y'all, every one of you, some of y'all was going, man, it'd be so funny if that thing would fall right now. <laughs> Boy, if it'd turn him loose. That ain't nice. Don't be, Peyton, I know what you're thinking. If you'd have just known, you'd have took some screws out, wouldn't you? I know. I got you. I got you. Now, you can be confident that I believe what I said, right? Why? Because I did it. Because I did it. Listen. Believe is an action word. And an encounter with Christ brings about change every time. You can say you've changed. You can say you believe. But until you get out there and do it, ain't nobody listening to you. And you know what? Sometimes when you're unsure... Just watch people around you. But I want you to remember something. <laughs> There's people watching you. And they hear what you're saying. But they believe what you're doing. If you ain't sitting on it, but you're talking about it, you're hurting the kingdom. You ain't building nothing. Because believe is an action word. Every time, whether we're talking about stools or we're talking about Christ, believe is an action word. Every time. 